feet. Three quite strong swimmers as well. Yeah, Su Jian, gold medalist last year in the 50 fly. There's Fabulous from Hungary. Taking this S5 event for the first time. There's Zhang Li, Paralympic champion from China. Won the gold in the 50, the 100, and the 200. And there is Sima Louise Rong from Norway. Nine Paralympic medals to her name. One of the most experienced campaigners. The third Chinese star is Yao Kuan. Fourth in the Paralympic Games last year. And Donia Belises from Peru. Going in the outside lane. Yeah. Seven. Uh, quite a strong feel for the second heat, Liz. Yeah, this is probably one of the most well-represented classifications, the S5 women at this rescheduled championship. Great to see three Chinese athletes making an appearance. And again, we'll see a range of different starts in this event. Is so much going from the water. We also won in the previous heat. We've got five now going from the water. You see the Peruvian swimmer going from the block. She's got that Peruvian towel on the block. It's quite abrasive, these blocks, aren't they? Yes, we'll see a number of athletes in a variety of classifications using towels on these blocks because they are quite slippery and it is best to get a good grip so that you can maximize the advantage that you get off those blocks. But here we see these athletes choosing to start in the water, get a good push off with their strong arm, and straight up into their swimming stroke so they can gather that momentum. And actually, S5 women is one of the classification groups where you see people build through each of the 50 meters. We're going out pretty fast there in lane number five. Looks like Sarah Louise Rong, she's heading. Olympic champion here, Zhang Li, and it is Quite funny, Ellis in second position, but Sarah Louise wrong. Well out in front at the moment, 42.18. Funny, Ellis in second position, and there's quite a margin between the rest of the field and these uh, leading two or three swimmers there. Zhu from China down there, right at the bottom of the screen in third position. Yeah, and here we see again a variety of different strokes. Sarah Louise wrong, only really able to keep that top half of her body out of the water, so she's Got to have a nice balanced stroke to combat the drag that her legs are creating. Fanny Ellis, she doesn't have the drag as she's a double leg amputee, so she's just got to generate enough power. We see a, a very good stroke rate. And there we see Zhu, a single arm swimmer, so a variety of strokes here. Sarah Lee Drum will take this one. Looks like it might be the fastest time. It is 125.48 for the Norwegian. She is safely into that final this evening as is Fanny Ellis in 132.39 and it looks like Zhu from China might make that one 136.97 and Zhang Paralympic champion here she's coming in now that time of 153.68 so just about making it into that final by around about a second there well, wow, no surprise there, but she's made it. I wonder what she'll do tonight. Yeah, these S5 ladies, we saw them all coming out wrapped up in a lot of layers with scarves, coats being pushed because they are one of the classification groups that will really struggle to maintain their own body temperature because they can't jump around like everybody else. So the cold could really affect those swimmers and we might see that that might have been the problem there in lane four. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens tonight in that final. By my reckoning, she has made it. Lynn just made it into that final position there in that heat. Sarah Louise Ronk, that's comfortable for her. She looked pretty good, actually. Real rivalry between her and Teresa Perales. Friendly rivalry over the years. Move on now to the next event. <laughs> Again, we're switching between finals and heats. It's the final of the men's 100 meters breaststroke. Just 
to reiterate here a lot of these rescheduled events the rescheduled championships of course from September and October this year as you see uh, the results there for that second heat 125.48 Nicholas in second Chinese swimmers in third, fourth and fifth Sarah Louis Jean will be fastest into that final. 